All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Ruben from the Regional Institute for Population Studies, University of Ghana. Um, in my PhD thesis, I set out to examine how urban populations are exposed to flooding through the changes in the urban landscape and how it affects urban um, livelihood assets and how we can build resilience in urban um, centers. So in doing this, um, I focused on two main urban communities in the Greater Accra metropolitan area in Ghana, which are highly exposed to flooding, uh, mainly due to um, changes in the urban landscape, mainly by concretizing of surfaces and um, absence of drainage systems coupled with other factors. So I engaged um, community level um, approaches such as the Okay, so this is the framework, um, the general framework that um, I used in um, doing the studies. It's mainly adopted from the sustainable livelihoods approach. And I look at the, um, the urban context, how it's exposed to flooding by way of the biophysical characteristics and how urban assets are, are used in building resilience. So in doing this, I used the um, the two we call the community-based risk assessment to adaptation and livelihoods. It enables you to in interact with the community in bringing out the issues that affect them. They tell you the risk that the assets are, are exposed to and how they are able to build resilience at the community level. So using these tools together with some remote sensing techniques, I was able to come up with the factors that have modified exposure to flooding in the urban area. And from the results, we can see that um, in the local context, exposure has mainly been modified by the poor spatial planning, by waste management practices, by, by physical characteristics, by government interventions, and activities of adjoining districts. And um, the land use change, like I said earlier on, there have been massive changes in the urban land use, which has triggered a lot of flooding situation. And the effect of flooding was mainly felt by physical assets. So it was a mainly damage on the physical assets. I looked at the five main livelihood assets, um, social, financial, physical, uh, human, and, um, and the financial assets. So you see that the physical assets are mainly affected by flooding events. Meanwhile, the um, response to um, floods it's mainly by use of the uh, physical assets. So it means that in order to really respond to flood and to build resilience, we should focus more on um, people's physical assets. Um, thank you very much. Thank you.